Hey, what's happening, guys? Front of the channel, Rob, you know, purveyor of Uncle Rob's fine solder flux, has sent in this unique little tool. These are Micromark solder wicking pliers or clamps, whatever you want to call them. You can see they have some nice uh, insulation material here so you don't burn your fingers. And if you can see in there, there's a little hole in the jaws where it can clamp onto a piece of wire. That's pretty cool. All I have ever used in the past were just hemostats, you know, you clamp them on. These seem to be you know, more metal. They're heavier. Denser, I guess, would be the, the proper term to use. <laughs> so I figured we could see if we can't put together some sort of a uh, experiment and see what we can see. Okay, so I've got a piece of 22 gauge wire coiled pretty tightly around the end of that thermocouple there. We'll see what happens. Now you can see the temperatures rapidly increasing. We've only been doing this for a few seconds. Alright, so we'll let that cool and then we will come back and do it again but this time we'll put the heat wicking pliers on it. Alright, so we're back down pretty close to where we started. We don't have to be exact. What we're looking for is more of the change as opposed to the overall temperature. Ah, I'm trying to get this in a spot where everything will stay. Go on. All right, that might be good. Except now you can't see what's going on. Ah, try this again here. Clip. Okay, now you should be able to see everything. So we're back to uh, our original starting temperature. Torch. Do the same thing. And you remember before in about 30 seconds we were right up to over 100 degrees. I would have to say these are pretty impressive. Torch is right on it and it's going up much, much slower. Alright. Sometimes the old torch don't like to shut off. <laughs> Let me take the heat wicking pliers off. Oh yeah, they're warm to the touch. They were definitely absorbing the heat. So, just to make our test incredibly unscientific, we'll try it with the hemostats and see if they impart any difference in the rate in which these things heat up. But first, we have to let it get back down to its original temperature. All right, we're back down there. Oops. Cool down so we're close enough to our original temperature. And let's see what happens here. Same thing, we're heating it up. Flame is maybe three-eighths of an inch away from the wire. Now I'm not going through and timing this or anything. But it looks like the heat sinking pliers kept more of the heat away for longer. These seem to be heating up to just about where the original went. So I guess you have to ask yourself, what does any of this have to do with electronics? Well, heat is the enemy of electronics. So when you're soldering something, 
that's heat sensitive, which is basically anything with a diode in it, anything IC based, you know, you want to keep that heat away. That, that also includes electrolytic capacitors, even though they're not diode based, but because they have a liquid filling, basically, you want to keep the heat away from them. So you put something like, you know, either a pair of hemostats or something like this. And they even have smaller ones, little clampy ones. I can remember having when I was a, a child. But anything you can do to keep the heat away from the part that you're trying to solder, it's going to do you better. That's why I often say it's better to get in hotter for a shorter dwell time than to come in at, say, like, you know, 320 degrees Celsius with your soldering iron and sit there for 30 seconds trying to melt the solder when you could come in at 400 degrees and melt it in 10 seconds and be gone. It's the time on target that affects it. The, heat, the longer the heat is there, it's not so much the degree of heat, but it's the longer the heat is there. It's cooking the thing. So I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. Keep it in mind, whatever you think. Hope you enjoyed this little video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Uncle Rob for sending this out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.